this is what we have been looking forward to for a long time. A return to our favorite place in Alaska, the El Capitan Lodge. They have planned for us once again, four days of fishing fun and first class hospitality. If you've been here once, you would know why this place is our number one summer vacation destination. No sense in wasting any time. Let's get this show started. Hey Scott, thanks for the invite, man. You bet. This is a pretty uh, slick ride. You got a whole fleet of new bolts. A longer boat, much better ride. Now this is a real treat for your charters because most of them are return clientele. They've been with you for all these years on the older fleet. And I mean, this is gonna be a Cadillac ride for them. Yep, it has been for sure. And it's, it's uh, the largest improvement we've ever done at the lodge at one time. Well, I'll tell you what, let's go get something to put in those fish boxes. All right, let's do it. <laughs> all right. So we're going to be using these herring. They're cut, kind of on a bias. So that what we'll do is we'll let them out. And they'll spin as we drop. And when you reel it back in, it'll spin on the way back up, making it look like the wounded fish that the salmon want to feed on. King salmon are the largest of the Pacific salmon species. Uh, we also call them Chinook salmon. They're the great fish to eat. The bigger they are, um, the more desirable they are. That's it guys, keep on fit, reeling up and down. Looking good. There's a lot of fish in here. Okay, there you go. Nice, nice double guys. Michael, how are you feeling over there? You doing good, bud? Yeah. yeah, you got the right kind, bro. That's a salmon. Good job. Ben, hang on to him. Okay. Oh, no, he's gonna go. Yeah, he saw that net. Yeah, there you go. Nice work. Nice and easy, Michael. That's it, nice and easy, okay. Nice and easy. Do you get a bit, Scotty? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Nice one, Scotty. Got him. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, let's see, Ben. I think we're, we're ready. You're ready? Okay. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. All right. Chef, keep fishing, keep fishing. That's it. All right. Got him. Yeah. Nice fish, bud. Yeah. Sweet. Nice work, bud. Sweet. All right. Four down right there. Scott. That's yeah. it. Right on, man. Scott. That's it, guys. Keep on fishing here. All right. <laughs> There you go. Chef's on. Right, on. right kind. Right flavor. It's moving like yeah. it's... Yeah, it's the right flavor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the right flavor. That's it. Yeah, keep the tension on him. That's it. You're doing great, Seamus. Just like how you keep that steady tension on him like that. That's it, Seamus. Okay. That's it. You're doing good. You lift your rod straight up. Hey, got him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Nice work. Oh, nice, thanks, work. nice work. Nice work. Nice yeah. work. Yes. Got him. Wow. Yep, yep, he's good. Right, Just he's over. Yes. Yep, nice work. Okay. Woo. Not bad for one day of king salmon fishing. And you know, this is just the first day.
they like to say it at El Capitan Lodge, here, fishing is catching. But as much fun as we had today on these cool boats, there are still more good times to come. We're going fishing for the halibut right after you catch this. All right, guys, so we're going to be doing some bottom fishing. We're going to try and target halibut specifically, but sometimes you'll catch other fish while we're doing it. So you have a glow squid on there, and then this is a little piece of like white halibut skin. And they'll kind of bite, bite. The key is to just let them eat until they hook themselves. So that's basically it. The real big ones, you know, we'll, we'll, call, them, we'll call them toads, or, you know, and it be anything that's over, you know. 100 pounds usually. Um, you know, the, the ones that are kind of in between, you know, from say 40 pounds up to about 80, we call those turkeys. And then the smaller ones, we call them chickens. Uh, you know, the ones that are like 40 pounds or less, and those are really, really great to eat. Seamus, how Oh, yeah. Seamus. Hey. Monster. Seems like it's big. We'll see. It's still running. Yeah. What are we looking? Yeah, it's good size. It's like I can I can sharp look it if you want. Nice fish. Andy. Yeah, you got him, Scotty? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Hey, Scott. Yo. Big fish? Yes, I think so. Only we'll know in about 200 feet. That's good though, you guys got it down. Like, that's the thing. Is, yeah. Oh, yeah. Boy, if hooking up is going to be this easy, we'll be going home with a lot of fish at the end of this vacation. Fishing on this visit has been outstanding. The king salmon bite is on. The halibut bite is the same. And we've got more adventure here in Alaska to look forward to. Don't go away. More on the fishing show right after this. You've heard this before. The early bird catches the worm. Well, we are up early today, but worms are not what we have in mind. 
What we do have in mind is what will be on the menu for tonight's dinner at the lodge. And it all starts here. This is our idea of grocery shopping, Alaskan style. As you can see, folks, even picking up groceries in Alaska is an adventure. And it doesn't seem it could get any easier than this to get shrimp for the chef. So let's get these back to the lodge kitchen as soon as we can. Needless to say, at the lodge, the dining room is always one of our favorite places to be. And on this visit, Fresh shrimp was only one of the many fantastic menu items that we were treated to. might be thinking, how could our dining experience get any better? Well, it did. On the last day of our trip, our guest chef worked his magic in the lodge kitchen. With the help of the lodge staff, Chef Seamus started us off with a classic Alaskan appetizer, crab cakes. Then, as his second course, he chose to showcase ling cod in a white chowder prepared with fresh, sweet corn. Our first entree featured slow-roasted king salmon with a charred succotash, creamy garlic potato, and crispy prosciutto, all served over a truffle corn nage. And then, as a second entree, Chef created a curry-scented bouillabaisse using all the great Alaskan seafood, halibut, spot shrimp, and king crab. But wait, there's more. A fantastic meal like this one needs to finish with a worthy grand finale. How about Cherry's Jubilee for dessert? When we get back, our summer vacation in Alaska continues with the good times. More on the fishing show right after this. The fishing here is extraordinary. It's uh, one of the best places I've ever been in my life. The food at the lodge is world class. It's probably the best I've ever had. El Capitan is some place we look forward to going every year and it takes us a whole 12 months before we can get here. And we're already thinking about coming next year again. It's the best place to go fishing that we've ever experienced. All right, this is my first time at El Capitan. The hospitality is second to none. The bar is fantastic and the fishing is amazing. If you want a great place to relax, to enjoy some outdoor sports like fishing, you need to come to El Capitan. It is a wonderful place. You can have all the comforts of home and the captains and all the staff members are wonderful. This is my fifth time to El Cap. Love it every time we come back. Scott and Nani, the best hosts you could meet. The staff, the captains, the food, the fishing, top notch. Well, this is my first time being here, first time in Alaska fishing, and it's been a memorable experience. Uh, fishing, catching every day, no white washes. It's been great. El Capitan is a great place, and I get to meet my brothers here. We've come the last three years. It's a great place for us to come from different states and meet up and just yuck it up and have a lot of good time. El Capitan, what can you say? Amazing fishing, beautiful scenery, great people, and memories that'll last a lifetime. The captains here, they, they work hard, they make sure you're having a good time, make sure you're safe, make sure you're catching fish. 
Captain Billy was excellent. He got us on the fish every time. We caught sa king salmon, we caught halibut, lingcod, and yellow eyes. Ah, the fishing is absolutely great today. We've limited out every day that we've been here. And I uh, can't say enough about the boat captains. Everybody is absolutely the best. Well, the fishing here has been fantastic. I mean, we've uh, got our king salmon, halibut, lingcod, and yellow eye. Been very rewarding experience for us. The fishing here is awesome. We've uh, limited out for the last three days. We've caught all our kings and everything like that. It's just really solid fishing and it's really fun. Uh, my first time at the lodge, but it seems like I've come every year. Uh, family, friends, and good camaraderie and great fishing. If you enjoy the great outdoors and love fishing, I highly recommend visiting El Capitan. It's an unbelievable place, unbelievable. No doubt about it, everyone would be taking home a lot of great eating fish from this trip. And just as meaningful, everyone would be taking home with them memories of the people they met and of the great times they shared with each other. My thanks to everyone who participated on the show, and thanks to all who enjoy sharing our adventures on the Let's Go Fishing Show. See you next week. Aloha. Aloha.